Hello, this is Mator, and I'm here to tell you today about Merge Plugins version 1.9. If you don't know what merging plugins is, get over to the Nexus link in the description and read about it. I'm going to make this video pretty quick. I just want to go over how to install and download all the stuff you need and how to quickly merge something in a generic fashion, regardless of whether you're using Mod Organizer or Nexus Mod Manager. Anywho, let's get started. So first off, you're going to need Test5Edit. Uh, it's also known as XEdit. Um, that's because Test5Edit is a single project that spans multiple games. Um, there are different versions, FO3 Edit for Fallout 3, FNV Edit for Fallout New Vegas, and Test4 Edit for Oblivion. All of these versions are the same executable, the same program, just with a different DAT file and a different name of the executable. So you can get... Um, you can download it from ne Nexus Mods or from AFK Mods. Nexus Mods has the latest public release. AFK Mods has beta releases. Um, you don't need a beta release anymore for using the Merge Plugin script. Uh, you did need it in the past, but now you don't because they have 3.1 on Nexus Mods. Um, you can also, uh, there will be links to FO3 Edit, FNV Edit, and Test4 Edit in the description, um, which... For, for Nexus mods, I mean, because you need the DAT file that comes from those installations, which won't be included on the test 5 edit download. Anywho, um, you got to log in to download this because the file exceeds a certain size limit. You can make an account on Nexus mods. It's totally free, easy, no problems. Um, anywho, let's quickly just grab test 5 edit here. We're just going to click download manually, click save file, and I'm going to replace my download that I already have. Um, should download pretty quickly. This is the latest version of Test5 Edit. Great. You need this version if you don't have 3.033 SVNH98, which is complicated. You might not know what that means. Um, just just grab this one. Just, yeah, just grab 3.1. It's great. Anywho, installing it. Easy, easy, easy. I like to install it in my Skyrim directory. You don't have to. You can install it wherever the hell you want. What you're going to do is you're going to select all of these and you're going to drag and drop. I already have it installed though, so I'm not going to do that. This is mine right here, but you just drag and drop. And I'm using WinRAR here. Maybe you use 7-Zip or maybe you're one of those one of those people who just use Windows whatever archiving tool or G-Zip, whatever else there is. Um, just extract the archive. Um, there's links in the description about archive extraction if you really don't know how to do that. Um, but anyhow, once it's installed, you have your test 5 edit executable here, um, or if you're using a different game, it might be called FO3 edit, whatever. Um, it's important that you have the dat file, dot .dat file here, and now let's quickly install the merge plugin script. So the merge plugin script, you can download it from Nexus Mods as well, super easy. Just go to the page here on Nexus Mod, go to the file section, click download manually. It's tiny, it's 274 kilobytes, should download more or less instantly. Great thing about tools like this is they download super fast. Anywho, once you have that downloaded, open the archive again. Um, there's a README in there. It doesn't really have much information in it, though. Uh, there's an Edit Scripts folder here. You're going to merge that with Test5Edit's Edit Scripts folder, which I'm going to do right now, um, and replace any conflicts there are. Now, this version has the most up-to-date version of mtefunctions.pass. Uh, if you already have mtefunctions.pass from an old version of the Merge Plugin script, replace it with this. If you have it from another one of my tools or another Test5Edit scripting tool, replace it with this one. This one is the latest version as of today, 3.9.2015, and you want the latest version for the Merge Plugin script to work. Um, if you're uncertain about what version a version is, if you want to know which one's newer, you can open it. At the very top, it says when it was edited. So there you go easy comparison there. You can also always get the latest version on my GitHub, also linked from the description. Anywho, once that's installed, I'm going to delete something because um, you won't have it because it doesn't come with the installation config file. Uh, anywho, we can now start Test5Edit and load some mods and try doing some stuff. Uh, yeah, 